The next day, Maria came into work, eager to get started. She sat at her desk and unpacked her laptop, noticing that the mood seemed quieter than the day before. She could still smell a strange stench in the air. Just then, Tabby walked into the room. Good morning, everyone. One of you lucky few will be promoted by tomorrow. We'll be keeping an eye on your progress throughout the day, so don't let us down, she said. The staff seemed to shrug this off, but Maria was determined to seize the opportunity. She asked the other staff if she should go for it. I hope I am considered. After Lucy, I am the most experienced on the team and desperately need the money from the promotion, Beth said. Rather you than me. There's something fishy going on here. The company fired all the staff one day, and then Ethan and Tabby came. Lucy hasn't responded to any of my texts for the past two days. And when I talk to her about it in the office, she always says she's busy, Emma added. There's something off about them. Ethan never comes out of his room, and I've noticed that the weirdest thing is that Tabby farts a lot. If she doesn't near me again, I have a plan, Beth said, pulling out a can of fragrant spray from her bag. Emma laughed at the idea. I had a weird experience last night, too. Lucy kept farting, and then I saw a blue light come from Ethan's office, Maria said, remembering the previous night. Yes, I've seen that before. They say it's an issue with the lights, but I don't know if I believe them, Emma said. If you ask me, they should get it checked out at a doctor. The room would smell a lot nicer, Beth added. I'm just pleased to have a job, even if things are weird around here, Maria said as their conversation was interrupted by Tabby coming over to make demands. One of you must help me. We need to test the broadcasting frequency tonight, so we need to make sure everything is ready. Who is free? I will do it. Beth said. Can I watch to see what I need to do in the future? Maria said with enthusiasm. Tabby nodded. We have also started broadcasting on a different frequency as soon as they arrived, which I thought was odd, Emma added before they left. They made their way to the server room. Maria and Tabby watched as Beth inputted the new frequency given to her by Tabby. Maria watched with keen eyes. Suddenly, the sound of electric motors kicked in as the radio dish and mass started broadcasting different frequencies. There, it works, but we must switch back to the other frequency for the rest of the day, because our move to the new frequency isn't official yet, said Beth. Can I do it? Maria asked. Sure. Can you remember what I did? Just undo what I did, Beth replied. Maria pressed the buttons and the radio mass broadcast on the old frequency once more. Tabby looked at Maria's enthusiasm with interest. She congratulated her before making her move back towards the office again. Tabby went straight back to Ethan's office. The frequency works. You can tell our contacts that their signal will be ready to broadcast before the final phase, Tabby said with an evil tone. Good work. We won't have long to go. Have you decided which one you want yet? Ethan replied. Oh yes, I think she will be pleased with the new promotion. <laughs> Tabby laughed. It was the end of the working day and Tabby walked into the office room with announcement. Good afternoon everyone. As I said earlier today, one of you lucky lot will be getting a promotion today. After much thought, we have decided who it should be, Tabby announced. The staff did not seem to care too much, many kept their heads down, as if hoping not to pick them. But Maria sat there, dreaming of being picked. I would like to say a big congrats to Maria, who, even though she is our newest member of staff, has impressed us a lot, Tabby said with glee. What? I'm sorry, but that's not fair. She just arrived. I was teaching her how to do things today, said Beth in shock. Maria could not believe it. She had been chosen. She was overcome with joy. She had a huge smile on her face. She thought it was too good to be true. 
The other members of staff started packing up, ready to go home. Maria prepared herself for the moment. She turned to Emma and Beth, but Beth had stormed out, and Emma had decided to go and find her. Congratulations, Maria. We are pleased to offer you a promotion to assistant manager. Your hard work and dedication has not gone unnoticed. Maria was overjoyed. She could hardly contain her excitement. We have some papers for you to sign, just to make it official. And then we can discuss your new duties and responsibilities. Maria sat down and began to read through the papers, her hands shaking with excitement. As she signed on the dotted line, she couldn't believe that she had achieved her dream so quickly. Welcome to the team, Maria. We have high hopes for you, and we know you will succeed in your new role, Ethan said. I'll show you to your new office now, and don't worry about Beth, she'll get over it. It's just a bit of friendly competition, Tabby added. Maria followed Tabby out of the room, still feeling a mix of shock and happiness. She couldn't wait to get started in her new role and prove herself to the team. Maria entered the room. She was so excited. Her mind was exploding with all sorts of thoughts and ideas. She didn't notice Tabby locked the door after closing it. Tabby walked towards Lucy and Ethan, who were sitting at the other side of the boardroom table. Take a seat. You've done well, and we are very impressed with you, Ethan said kindly. Although still gleeful, Maria thought this was odd and questioned why they chose her. I've only been here a day. Would it not be better to promote someone like Beth instead? She has a lot more experience than me, Maria said, confused. Yes, that may be true, but your dedication is clear. You stayed back late yesterday, and Tabby tells us you showed great enthusiasm this afternoon, Lucy said enthusiastically. Well, you see, Tabitha is sadly leaving us, and we are having to fill her position rather quickly, Ethan said with a sad tone. At that moment, his stomach roared. He looked more and more uncomfortable with every passing minute. Of course there is something you can give us in return, Ethan said. Yes, of course, anything. I'm just glad to be promoted, Maria said gladly. At that moment, before Maria could finish her sentence, Tabby farted. <coughs> Oops, <laughs> oh, excuse me, <laughs> Tabby said in a juvenile way. Tabby's face was one of relief as Maria turned to the others. I thought these slimlined suits were supposed to stop the gas exchange. It's made it worse, Ethan said. Oh, and me. I'm shaking my booty, <laughs> Lucy exclaimed, also in a juvenile tone. The three of them laughed in a juvenile way. They didn't seem themselves anymore, nor fit to be in the positions they were in. Maria began to think the promotion was some sort of hoax, a way of getting at her because she was new. What's going on here? Is this some sort of sick joke? A hoax on me because I'm new? And what is it with the farting? Not only is it rude, but I have never known anyone to fart this much, Maria said. Well, you could say it is a bit of a hoax, <laughs> Ethan replied, laughing. Oh, I am sorry. You see, I have enjoyed working for this company as Tabby. She has been a wonderful disguise said Tabby. I'll tell you the real reason we gave you the job of a Beth. You are the right size, <laughs> Ethan said. What's that supposed to mean? Maria shouted. You'll see, Ethan said with a sinister tone. At that moment, Lucy pulled back her fringe, revealing a metal zip on her forehead. Ethan and Tabby both reached for their foreheads, too, and all three of them began to pull their zips open. The room was filled with a bright blue light, similar to the one Maria had seen the other night. As they pulled the zips open, more and more blue light spilled out, and they rolled their eyes back in pleasure. Maria watched in horror as Tabby and Lucy pulled back their scalps, revealing the hideous monsters inside. 
All three of them shook off their skins, dragging them down to reveal the creatures in full. Maria couldn't believe her eyes. The creature wearing Tabby's skin spoke up. We are the Slitheen. There you are, if you'd just like to go through and get changed. Now, if you'd like to head down to the end of the corridor, it's first on the left. Thank you. 